Hello everyone, Crystal Vigia here, and welcome to a new Spyro Reignited Trilogy mod. It is none other than a Retro Spyro Classic mod, which is basically the old model, Spyro and Sparks, rigged to the modern Spyro Reignited Trilogy model. As you can see here, it is basically flawless. It is absolutely unbelievable. So, bit of background. It is uh, considered the, uh, according to the mod, True PS1 Spyro Reignited Trilogy mod, rigged by Faith F SDK, imported by Frankly GD, and the model rips were provided by Ghosty SFM. So you guys may recognize these names in the Spyro uh, modding, fan game, hacking community, whatever you want to call it. Um, the two of them, brother and sister, Faith SDK and Frank, they were working on Spyro Mortar's Mayhem, which was the fan game which uh, is as of now unofficially not on. Um, whether we see more of it one day, that remains to be seen, but for now it is not on anymore. And Ghosty, who has been uh, sort of, you know, one of a, kind of more of a silent contributor to contributed to the scene like he helped out with uh, Spyro Myths Awaken. He does a lot of Spyro A Hero's Tale stuff. Like he's a huge fan of A Hero's Tale. Um, well at least a huge fan of like modding and doing stuff with the game. Um, as you can see here I'm going through a bunch of levels just showing off some of the gameplay. Um, you'll see there's even the trademark jitter as well. There's like actually like jitter on the model which I think is brilliant. You see we've got this coded in as well. Basically everything is coded in. There are very very few glitches so far. Um, there's like a thing when you spit with like a one of like the like a ball or something like that, you get the like, Spyro's mouth gets a bit big, but it, it's kind of hilarious actually. I kind of I actually kind of like it to be honest. It's it's a it's a it's a feature not a bug. Um, but no, it is truly truly beautiful. And like actually playing it, it it like it feels. Perfect. Like I don't know if it's like a placebo, but it just make it just feels like such a, a fantastic model. And what I actually really like about it is that because it's it's this purple, it's this classic colors. It's all it's everything you know, like the original. Essentially, what you actually get to do is you actually get to now see Spyro in different lighting. You know, for example, when uh, you know you see him here in like a warmer level or a, or a more deeper blue sort of tone level, or you know, blowhard stuff like that, where it's just like totally different vibes. You know, depending on the level and so it actually is like it's it's like you're seeing the model in its absolute best form to be honest i absolutely love uh beast making it's actually if i'm thinking about it like like in terms graphically it's actually probably my favorite level in the entire trilogy like i, I absolutely adore it um you'll see there that yeah like it's just i i can't believe that in less than a month we've already got to this point and that's the thing we have far usurped crash modding in literally less than a month. Um, it just shows the talent of the people in this scene, not to say that the crash ones aren't, because there are some amazing stuff in that too, but just, I, f I feel like it's been the last few years of, of texture hacking and all that kind of stuff that have just got people absolutely hooked on the idea of modding Spyro and adding new content. And there are level mods coming too, guys. Like, it's very, very exciting. Um, I'm so glad to be able to share this with you guys. I'm so glad that there are so many people with so much talent out there that are working on this kind of stuff. But anyway, now I'm going to do a walkthrough of Zephyr. Alright guys, welcome to Zephyr. We're doing a little bit of a playthrough here in Spyro 2 in the reignited version as this classic Spyro model, retro Spyro model, whatever you want to call them. Seriously, cannot get over how fun it is to actually play with this model. Now, as you saw earlier, there are still some bugs that need to be, uh, you know, fixed and stuff like that. But seriously, like as a version 1, this is phenomenal, like, I mean, even in general, I actually kind of find the, the, the full mouth thing hilarious, actually. Um, but yeah, we're playing Zephyr, and actually, one thing I want to quickly show you, I've got this, it's, um, injector, basically. If I press one of these buttons here, if I press, like, the, sort of, the, whatever button, I don't know, it's like the top corner under escape. If I go like this, if I go FOV, let's go 84. As you can see, they've got a bit of a different, a bit of, a bit more of a field of view. Let's maybe go FOV 86, just to give us a bit more view. That's actually really beautiful. I love that. I don't have a 21 by 9 screen, so for me, this is kind of, this is kind of like the best of both worlds in a way because it's like it's not a ultra wide, but you kind of get a little, bit, little bit more of a view. And also, you know, one problem is, is that sometimes Spyro kind of gets ahead of himself. So if you've got like a bit of less of a field of view, uh, or sorry, more of a field of view, it means that he actually, you know, you don't like get too 
caught up or something like that, for lack of a better word. But anyway, that is only, of course, available in the PC version. All of this is only PC exclusive, unfortunately. Um, PlayStation and Xbox and stuff, they're not, they're just, they don't really have a modding community. You can't really properly mod uh, console games, like properly, like unless you actually... I think have like a console, like a, like an actual developer kit would probably be the best way. And I think that some games have some some mods that you can um, do. I think Fallout had some like approved mods back in the day. Anyway, um, there's Zoe. I wonder if Zoe will ever get the retro treatment. Uh, I mean, it kind of almost defeats the purpose if you know everyone's getting retro treatment. But in Spyro and Sparks's case, I actually kind of like it. Like the way that you know it actually it, it's rigged to the model perfectly really that's that's the thing that gets me so much is that it, it actually works so well and it's like it makes you wonder you know they, did they really just not not have enough time uh to do this themselves because you know according to the the creators of this you know they were saying that yeah it, it sort of it pretty well added up um you know in terms of it wasn't like an absolutely insane level of work to actually get this working um so that's really cool Anyway, let's... I actually don't have climb yet because I'm just sort of playing the game casually. But you know what? We actually can do one of those challenges. Let's do... Let's go and do that challenge um, with the with the professor. It's actually perfect here when you've got the sort of green grass going through. Whoa! Yeah, buddy. Well, he's stuck there. I'm keeping him there. All right, yeah, it's actually, it's a perfect contrast of colors. The, 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 um, it will never get old for me seeing just all of the grass everywhere. It's crazy amounts of grass. There he is. Juliet. Oh, cool. Actually, did I even do this challenge in the LP? Here we go. Okay, that's definitely not it. This actually fundamentally looks so much different to the original game. Um, it really is just, yeah, it is so much different. Um, is it? Nope. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, there we go. Am I not, am I do, have I actually forgot? Here's the funny thing, and I'm not even kidding here. I have probably would no joke forgotten how to do it because it's literally been like years since I've done the challenge properly um, I actually don't even know So, to get that one, how do we actually do that? There, there it is, there it is again. Massive spire, look at that. I actually, because it's like, that's the first one. That's that's where you do that. And then that one there's a taller one. And that one there's an even taller one. But let me have a look. Yeah, so you can't, you can't hop up on that one. Although, maybe what you do, actually, Go down here, go get another seed. Should be where I threw that cowlick. Here we are. Here's to doing this challenge like the traditional way. I gen like I'm not even kidding. Have not done it this way in probably a decade. I reckon probably close to a decade. Like probably not since I originally got Spyro on the emulator and still did that for the first time. Alright, anyway, so you put that one down there. He has to doing this legitimately. There we go. Yeah, this level looks so much different um, when you look over here. Like, I, the, like nothing about this is like the same. Like, it's 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 such a different interpretation of the level. For better or for worse. Like, I don't necessarily hate it. Um, I don't. I don't. Like, parts of it, you know, I just absolutely love the original, but then other parts of it I do, I can see, you know, this being, you know, this is pretty cool. Alright, anyway. Oh. 
Jack and the Beanstalk challenge. All right. The right aim here. Make sure we don't overshoot. Whoop. Well, that's disappointing. You have to kind of throw it a little bit more up. So yeah, it kind of does this little hover thing. You get this little hover thing if you if you're like on the verge of making it out. Oh shit! No, no! Oh my goodness! I'm such an idiot. Why would I do that? I've only got myself to blame there. Back up. It's amazing what speed running will do to you. It'll make me, it makes me so impatient for everything. I'm just like, gotta do it, gotta do it, gotta run, you know? I don't take things in as much, which is kind of a shame. It's just that, that speed running mentality. Not that I'm even good at speed running. There we go. Take that jump. Head across here. Traditional way. Wow. Look at these. Look at these platforms. There we go. Thank you. It's like doing an LP. Right. <laughs> Surprise there. That's so not a... Uh, a classic Spyro 2 model. Right. So for, to do it this way, I think you've got to go up here. I think you need to... What do you actually need to do? Oh, I think you need to do this. I think you need to like take them both up here. Because then if you if you throw it like, there, like that, you can't do it. So instead, you have them both up here. that and then that it's a pretty easy puzzle really it's not really, I wouldn't even call it a puzzle why'd it have to be a female voice you know why couldn't it have been the original male um, you know quote unquote at least they're still gay uh, for, to quote an old LP of mine um, you know, the like sort of, uh, what was it, Shakespearean style where, you know, both of the characters were, uh, you know, played by men, or as I thought at the time, and uh, you know what, deep down, deep down I still think it, uh, it is a, a homosexuality like reference here. See, I believe that was talking about the taboo of gay marriage back in the day. Um, thankfully, no longer a taboo in most developed countries. Uh, all right, anyway, that's that. Should I go and talk to the cow guy? Uh, actually, no, we'll get, we'll get the talisman. So yeah, Zephyr is definitely a totally different level now. Um, I'd like to see a level kind of similar to this. I do like the whole, all the big rock formations and stuff like that, but uh, and I do like kind of how it's like in the trees. It's almost like an unofficial sequel to treetops, except nowhere near as difficult, but kind of like, I like it that there's just all these trees everywhere and hollowed out and stuff like that. Makes it feel a bit more like a war zone. Um, not in comparison to 2 though, because 2's metallic surfaces everywhere was really, really cool. Like I, I dig that a lot. Um, anyway, there we go. Let's go and blow this, whoop, burn this mother down. Whoop. And look, the uh, rainbow. I do like this, how there's the, all the TNT in here. There we go. <laughs> Crash reference, anyone? It should have actually been the TNT crash, that would have been brilliant. Alright, let's do this. Whoa, watch out for those, watch out for those eagles. Thank you very much. Oh, I like the classic talisman. All right, and there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember, download link is in the description. Have fun. Let me know what you think. This is truly a uh, historic day in the, uh, the Spyro Reignited Trilogy modding uh, scene. And you know what, guys? We're only just getting started. This is literally just the beginning. What if I told you that there was Rayman hack, Scooby-Doo hack, Ratchet and Clank hack, 
um, or you know, mod, hack, whatever, same thing. Guys, it's only just beginning. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.